one of my my mom, I guess. But I got a letter from Andrea, who is in Cuyahoga Falls, and she reminded me of it. She goes, I know you're a huge Warren Zevon fan. She goes, today is my birthday, and I remember that it is his, too. It's also Neil Diamond's birthday. For people who might not be into Warren Zevon, maybe you're a big Neil Diamond fan. Andrea is the one who made Mary the Romo Fijo shirt. Oh, nice. And she said, I uh, went to the Alan Cox Show 10th anniversary special, but I was too chicken shrimp to come up and say hello. That's always a missed opportunity. Good. I'm always Good. curious. Stay, stay scared. We're frightening people. I'm always curious when people say that. <laughs> I'm so. Uh, but I made Mary's Romo Fijo t shirt. Hope you all have a great weekend. So there's Andrea in Cuyahoga Falls, uh, the late, great Warren Zevon. Um. I'm happy to see, by the way, Romo Fijo, I've noticed, because I've kind of been digging around, not for it, but I've seen, come across it. Mm -hmm. I see people using it a lot in random online comments. Really? Yeah, like in unrelated, um, I was reading an article on Cleveland Scene's website, um, and there were a handful of people commenting, and a couple of people used Romo Fijo as the shorthand. For the Rock and Mortgage Fieldhouse. It makes sense. What are they going to say? The Rock? Because no one would know what they were talking about. No, but they might only know that. I mean, I know that there are other people in town who have taken that from me and claimed it as their own. And that's fine. The more, the merrier. But again, I'm very fastidious about my branding. And when I see people spelling it (laughs) F-E-H-O, I'm like, boy, it's a... It's a real Sophie's choice there, you know? I like it out there, mm-hmm. but I would also like the shorthand to be spelled properly. Well, that's like people... It's F-I-H-O because it's short for field, not F-E. But again, I, 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 I shouldn't... for my hoe. I shouldn't split hairs like that, should I? No. I've seen it pop up in, in comments on Cleveland Scene's website in... Um, where else did I see it? Like a, like a Cavs message board... Uh, the Plain Dealer Online, Cleveland.com. I saw people, I've seen people using Romo Fijo in their shorthand. Oh. Well, because we're used to seeing it in comments to us, you know what yeah. I mean? Like on our social media platforms. Mm-hmm. But to see it out there, like the coronavirus, <laughs> if you will, spreading in the world, uh, I like that a lot. I like it a lot too. I do appreciate when people spell it correctly. The yeah, but again, being F-I. I certainly don't want to split hairs uh, to that degree. And with the capitals. Well, it's like the same thing when people are like, I miss Erica. I'm like, then learn to spell her name right. <laughs> if you missed her so much, <laughs> you would spell her name correctly. Not like she was like, here for nine yeah. years. Yeah. It's all, it was all over the website, all over her social media, and yet mm-hmm. nine times. Yeah, well, what are you going to do? Right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, Turn did the did lights off little, and dance. A little half-hearted <laughs> clap over there. <laughs> Yeah, can you clap in time? It couldn't be easier. <laughs> he slows it down. Oh. It's Romo Fio. Let's go see a show. So I will have another thousand dollars for you here in a few minutes. Two thirty, about thirty past every hour is when uh, you have a chance to go fund yourself. So that'll be uh, coming up shortly. Uh, I have a new clip from my daughter. Oh, yeah. I'm going to wait till Gwen is in to play that because she absolutely does not want me to play it. Mm. I'm excited for it. And it was completely unsolicited. Uh, we're both a little vexed. It is, un- I think, undeniably hilarious. Mm-hmm. Uh, but it was random. Oh, I'm very excited for this. And, I'm very excited. Uh, yeah, she does not want me to play it. I said, mm-hmm. you know I can't not play it. Is it? I have a show. Is it a little and- bit... Uh, blue or something? I think or, so. Yeah. Okay. yeah, I think so. Okay. It's nothing yeah. I nothing yeah. I have to bleep. Right. Uh, my child is not a sailor, but I'm curious where she gets things mm-hmm. when she's clearly not getting them from us. You know what I'm saying? Right. Uh-huh. Um, so I'm going to wait till she's here to, to dig into that. Uh, right before the break, I mentioned that I have a show at Dina's over in Old Brooklyn, and someone hit me up like, oh, you're going to be at Dina's? When? And I'm like, Monday. And I was like, you can get tickets Saturday. at GirlSquire.com. Monday? I'm doing it Monday, yeah. Before the break, I thought you said Saturday. No, it was Monday. So not tomorrow. Not tomorrow. Monday. Monday. Monday, All right. Monday night. Because Craft Laughs is off for a few weeks because they're remodeling Great Lakes Brewing Company. So oh, right. I'm picking up a They're reopening next there. month. Yeah, I see. Yeah, so someone messages me, and they're like, 
oh, when is it? I'm like, Monday. You want to come? And they're like, can't. Burying my mom. But thanks anyway. I'm like, <laughs> oh. <laughs> the timing. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, but when... Don't you need a laugh after a funeral, right? And by the way, aren't funerals in the morning? Yeah, that's what I'm yes. saying. Yes. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> I mean, so you drop mom in the ground in the morning, probably mm-hmm. 10, 11 visitations the day before. Um, and then that night you go to Craft Laughs. No, not Craft Laughs. Dina's. Oh, that, you go to Dina's. Dina's. Yeah. You have a visitation the day before? I thought you have it like an earlier part of the well, funeral. Well, I want it to be one thing for my funeral. I don't need people coming out twice. Yeah. It's that's a waste what... of time. Yeah, your dad not going to get any debtor. Right. Like, why, why why, make people come out and visit and then also say, and some of you have to come back tomorrow for the ser- Like, just make it one day. That's if you really care. Yeah. But if you don't, then... I care smooth. enough about people that I want them to only have to make one trip to say that they miss me. And honestly, you don't even have to show up. I'm not. I'm not that worried about people showing up to my funeral. I want not that important to put me in the ground. Like I want dudes in thongs, like carrying me out. Like I want my. Wedding I want to, to die before you. <laughs> <laughs> like I don't want my wedding to be sad. I want it to be fun. <laughs> wedding. <laughs> I mean, my funeral. It's your home going. Yeah. Yeah, it's my yeah, home going celebration. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but uh, but people do it differently. Like I've been to. Usually the visitation is the day before. Yeah. Like the viewing is the day before the funeral because that's a public event, and then the next day the funeral is usually the family event. Right. That's what we did with my grandpa. The night before you do the viewing, and the day of you do the funeral. And so I got to make two trips to Medina. Horrible. <laughs> yeah, that's awful. <laughs> two terrible. trips to Med- in two days. Yeah. All the way back to Medina. It's I ain't going close. down there. Yeah, Bill. Sorry if your if your funeral's in Medina. I'm going to have to say the name. Listen, I'm saying this right now on the air. If my parents try and have my funeral in the Mormon (laughs) church, I will be upset. Rise from the dead? (laughs) Yes, I will come back and murder everybody. But that's the only way that you're going to get your planet. I don't want it. No, living Bill doesn't care about it, but dead Bill might. Mm, I don't know. Dead, dead, Dead Bill doesn't have a lot to worry about. No, but Mormons are baptizing dead people. You can bet your ass they're going to bury you. In, ensconced in Mormon regalia. They have really nice graveyards, from what I hear. Mormons? Mm-hmm. They just use regular graveyards. I hear they're like hoity and toity. Well, they uh-huh. bury them vertically, if that's what you mean. And I don't know. Safe I've never, space, been, never been to a, a Mormon <laughs> in the funeral. <field. laughs> Safe space. There's, there's not like a Mormon... I mean, maybe in Utah, because there's a lot higher Mormon population out there, but... They look like country clubs. <laughs> <laughs> well, the tabernacles you know, are nice. Of, you're, you're thinking of the temples. The temples are nice. Temples are you awesome. You don't bury people in those, though. Whatever, Shit, but yeah, no, sure. sorry, sorry, Bill. Like, I, your parents clearly don't want black people at your funeral if, if they're gonna have it in Medina. I ain't going out there. You're not going. <laughs> no black people in Medina. Is that what you're saying? I, I was just asking I mean, Bill this oh, other I was gonna day. Say, I've seen black people in Medina. They're there driving are black through. People they're in, not. They yeah. don't live there. There's a few. There's, yes, there's, a there's few. some who live there's there. There's a few. When you say a few, that's not like, a lot. <laughs> that's like how many do you outline. want? I, I want enough to where we have our own like stuff. Well, how many is that? I don't enough to where it's not a few. I don't know what to tell you, but just where it's normal to see a black person rather than, oh, see, we do have black people living here. If you, if you could say, Well, baby, step, son. I mean, mm-hmm. I don't know what you want. I just want it to be normal. like where, where there's enough where they're not going to ask you if you're related to the other black person exactly. in town. Exactly. It's a small town. Like, <laughs> you must, oh, you must be a Johnson. Oh. Have you, that guy have, mows my lawn. Have you met Steve? He's our black guy. <laughs> oh, do you know Tony? Tony. Yeah. Play basketball. Do you know him? Yeah. Is that your cousin? Yeah, no. I and by the way, why does the black guy have to be the guy who mows the lawn? You tell me. You said it. I said it because that's how Medina people think. <laughs> how do you know how Medina people think? No, I don't Medina, know how Medina people think. And Medina, I'm not from there. You're getting a lot of. Uh, you're, you're not having a lot of black people mow. Like you're 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 getting regular. I don't know. Maybe some. I'm trying to think of how. It's been a long time since, I, since I've lived there, but. I would say it's a lot of people that have their own landscaping businesses. Places like that scare me. I want to open a landscaping business, <laughs> you know, where I get enough I get enough business because people misread what I do. Mm-hmm. They go, hey, I need some trees put in. And I just come out with a series of giant rakes <laughs> and I tear everything up and they go, the hell? And then I invoice them. And they go, I'm not paying this. I go, bro, look mm-hmm. at the truck. Landscaping. Alan's landscaping business. It's not my fault you can't read, son. Do you have bikes? Huh? Do you have bikes for your business? 
I don't have that anymore. <laughs> oh, you don't have scraper <laughs> bucks anymore? Oh, I miss it. No, I think that that was the. I think that was another casualty of mm. the uh, the purge. I'm sorry. But anyway, the visitation is the day before the funeral. Mm -hmm. Is how it uh, works out. And I want mine all lumped together. Well, God, when my friend Jim died years ago, my my co-host in Chicago, mm -hmm. uh, and I had to go home for his funeral, his brother. His family asked me to speak at the funeral. So I was planning on just going to the visitation, but they asked me to speak at the funeral mass. Hmm. And of course, I'm not going to say no. I was honored to be asked, uh, but I was like, I can't go to the... I went, mm -hmm. and we went through all that, um, but then they said the funeral was just for the family, and I was relieved because I was wrecked. At this thing, I'm yeah. like, I can't go after this. That's a really. I could sad barely situation. get through the speech. Right. Hey, I got a thousand dollars here for you. A chance for you to go fund yourself. They get you a nice top of the line casket, right? Nice down payment on one of those, fur lined and everything. Woo! Good luck. Hey, it's Rover. Go fund yourself. We have your shot at one thousand dollars now. Text the nationwide keyword YELL to the number 200-200. You'll get a text confirming entry plus iHeartRadio info, standard data and message rate supply in this nationwide contest. That's YELL to 200-200. Good luck and go fund yourself from 100.7 WMMS. All right. Speaking of which, I saw that they were going to start opening Starbucks locations in poorer neighborhoods. Starbucks is trying to, they're like, you know, we've really peaked out on your um, stereotypical Starbucks uh, customer in these neighborhoods. And so they said they're going to start moving into poorer neighborhoods. And all I'm thinking is, well, I ain't going to get caught in any of those pay-it-forward traps there then. Mm -hmm. Because that happened to me twice over the holiday where I got caught in one of those Starbucks pay-it-forward things. And one time I took part in it, and the other time I ignored it. I'm proud of you for ignoring it. So if they start putting How these in dare like people try and be nice to you, <laughs> no, 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 that's fine. It, it's but it, it, that means it's incumbent upon me to be nice to the person behind me, mm -hmm. and I'm not opposed to that. Seems like you are. Well, no, when I it mean, was we talked about it at length on this show. Yes, where you're pretty opposed to it. <laughs> I don't like it being like compulsory. I don't. I don't like that feeling. And it's based in that. It's based in making you. And like I said, if you're at Starbucks, you're in a line of guilty liberals, right? Why guilty? Present company included. So the guy goes, "Oh, the person in front of you." Pay, you know, first time I get caught it was the first day of vacation, and then it happened like a couple days before I came back. So my vacation was bookended by a couple of. And I'm getting. I'm at Starbucks only to get things for other people. I'm drinking coffee, you know, none of that stuff. So they go, well, um, the person in front of you got your thing. And I go, oh, okay, well, I got to do this now? And the guy goes, well, you can if you want. And I go, how much do you got behind me? Seven bucks. I go, cool, I'll give you seven bucks. And then the second time, I wasn't feeling it. I didn't care. Did he even ask how much it no. was? He nope. Didn't even no, no. Okay. He hands me the thing. I was getting it for my daughter. I had dropped her off mm -hmm. at um, play rehearsal. Driving 20 minutes to the nearest Starbucks. I was not in the mood. It's like 8 in the morning. And the guy goes, eh, the guy in front of you got your thing. I go, okay. He put the thing in the cool. I took Peace. off. I did. <laughs> yeah. I pieced out. Yeah. Yeah. Cool beans. I said, cool, thank you. And I split. <laughs> I wonder what the look on their face was where they're like, oh, I guess you're the dick that doesn't pay for it. Fine. Yeah. But, but also, well, listen. I didn't I, ask I, anybody. I, I try to be, you know, it's just I just wasn't feeling it. And uh, so then... But the person behind you, here's the thing with that. The person no behind you, they have no idea. Right. They're blissfully ignorant, right? Unless <laughs> the were, guy <laughs> in the window goes, so that dude in front of you, he broke the pay it forward. <laughs> That's exactly what I was thinking Pound Cake would do. You I go, the guy that. in front of you, you broke would, the pay you it would forward. Tell on Alan for not paying it forward. To if, the I next person. if I was working there, I'm like, yeah, man, you were going to get your uh, meal paid for free, but this guy in front, he was having a really bad day. He. He just looks like Ebenezer Scrooge, and he did not pay for your car. Right, but that doesn't do, that doesn't do anything for them anyway. Like to tell them might make you feel like you're yeah, having fun, but I, it's not going to do anything for the for the person behind you. I get them like a coupon for a free muffin or something. You wouldn't give them anything. I, what, how do you know? Because like I told you, you're not invested in anything. You wouldn't care I, if the person broke the pay it for. What do you care? No, I you're wouldn't still getting care. paid eight bucks an hour. I would still be getting paid eight bucks an hour, but since I work there, like. I'm a cheat. I'm gonna skim off the top there too. So I'm like, all right, well, let <laughs> me skim off the top here. <laughs> There's nothing to steal. Skimming <laughs> off the top. 
He is such a scammer. <laughs> I'm like, here, I take a muffin because... I'm glad this show is not a cash business. <laughs> right? I'm so happy about that. Yeah, what, what am I going to take? <laughs> He'd be embezzle cake in about a month. <laughs> wow. Skimming off the top. <laughs> muffin. First of all, solid latte joke. Second of all... <laughs> So you tell the person behind, yeah, that dick up there, he broke the pay it forward. <laughs> totally you were so close <laughs> to getting something for free, but you didn't because the dick in front of you because didn't I, want to because pay. I was but, be, but, but people who are in line at Starbucks are expecting to overpay for something you could get for half price somewhere else. I, the reason why I was really good at my smoothie job because I was very outgoing and I, I knew how to talk to people. When they were coming in line, they would be all stressed out. and they're That's why I was so good at my smoothie job, But I says. was. I w when they would have me work register, I was the one. I would sing loud in the morning to the point where the bookstore had to walk over to my store. And they're <laughs> that like, doesn't sound that's like you're annoying. Job at all. That's, that's, like you're that's, that's, that's them going, please fire the singing smoothie chef. You sound Whoever like the kind is. of guy that if I see you're working there, I'm like, I'm not getting a smoothie today. Because no. I don't want to deal with the singing guy. Right. Yeah. Blah, 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 blah. And I told them to go scratch because I was like, I'm allowed to sing my Negro spirituals. <laughs> and they never, they left me alone after that because they were like. But you weren't <laughs> singing Negro spirituals. Yes, I was. Early in the morning when I was making the coffee. Oh, my what God. What were you singing? Wait in the water. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I so was. And yeah. I knew it because I knew they wouldn't mess with me after that. God. I was like, what you going to do? <laughs> Massa got me you. working. Something <laughs> Massa set me free. <laughs> That's exactly right. You were not. <laughs> yes, I was. Days never finish. Master got me working. <laughs> Negro spirituals. Yep, and they never messed with me again after that because they were afraid I was gonna like report them. Report them to who? I was like, I, they say I was the like, school. Hey, this guy, um, this guy won't stop singing his Negro spirituals. Because I, I yelled. I was like, even the slaves got to sing their Negro spirituals. I can't sing mine. You're not You're enslaved. You are making smoothies. I, that's what, Imagine the slaves were out there. <laughs> Would you rather be out here getting whipped and picking cotton, or would you want to be inside singing, making smoothies? <laughs> the coffee was really hot. I needed something to occupy my time. I wasn't on my phone. Yeah, so coffee. I coffee is so easy coffee to make. Is... It takes three minutes. Oh, my God. I had, like, five different things I had to do. And, like, I yeah, was warming up. maybe a total of eight minutes. I was warming up the rice. I was getting all the fruit and stuff ready. It was a lot. <laughs> I had to get up real early before my classes. All I'm saying is, in any time we've ever asked what music you listen to in the car, what makes you cry, what kind of banger should I play, never once have you said, play me a Negro spiritual. Well, Not once have you ever said that. I wasn't opening the store at 5 in the morning. All right. Check out the... I don't even want to say this. <laughs> what? <laughs> Check out Negro spiritual playlist on iHeartRadio. <laughs> uh, hey, guys, I'm Pound Cake. Check out my playlist. Yeah. All right. I mean, it could be like 6 a.m. and I'm singing Stranger in my house <laughs> over there while I'm warming oh, up the crepes God. and stuff. Yeah, so all right. Take your pick. You can't have everything. <laughs> uh, and so I sing. Now, would, it, my God would, it, it, would it get into other people's heads that were not yes. black and then they start singing it too? Yeah. They'd be like, you can't sing my song. Yeah. They'd be over there at the Barnes & Noble or mm -hmm. whatever the... <laughs> you know, there were people setting up like because we I, I worked in the student union, so right down the hall we had like the arcade area where that people would bowl and like so these people no one's bowling at you know six o'clock in the morning they would walk down and they're just like can I have a smoothie please they're like what was that song you were singing <laughs> <laughs> I, I was like, catchy oh. that would have been a great way to troll that the new Kanye it would have been a great way to troll dumb uh, college kids you know mm -hmm. Jessica walks away going you know swing low sweet chair I love it no who is that <laughs> the one guy came is that down. young jock <laughs> the one guy came down with his boss and he, he was like what song were you singing he was like you sounded really good man I was like oh ain't gonna let nobody turn me around <laughs> and he was like that's it he was like yeah his boss was like I dare you to sing that sure. to me he was like you'll be fired so quick and what an ironic <laughs> song for Pound Cake to be singing <laughs> right <laughs> ain't gonna let no governor turn me around yeah all right, listen, we've learned a lot. I don't know what. I'm going to think about it in the break. I'll have Mark Marin tickets for you. Uh, next Thursday night, he's going to do a show at the Agora. If you want to check him out, I'll hook you up uh, here shortly. 35192 if you want to text. It's the Alan Cox Show on 100.7 WMMS. And everywhere you go on our free iHeartRadio app.